Well, hello there, YouTube. It's Brew by Me. Guess what day it is? It's Friday. So you know what that means? Guess what time it is? It's time for a beer. Yes, it is. It's a freaking hot day out today too. It's like 32, 33 in there at Celsius. So it's pretty warm for us here in Canada. So uh, we have lots of sunshine out today. So. I'm going to review a beer from right here in Canada. Yes, I am. This beer comes from us, from the uh, Oakville, Ontario. Mm -hmm. This is the Cameron Brewing Company, and this is their Sunshine IP APA American Pale Ale, 5.1% ABV, 650 milliliter bottle. Um, our inspiration for this quintessential American Pale Ale came from the birthplace of the APA style where the sun, sand, and waves go hand in hand. With great beer, California sunshine teases you with the subtle citrus of three American hops combined with a crisp and clean malt billet creates the perfect California experience. Well, not bad. Cameron's, is, Cameron's has some good beers, their standard Cameron's cap. And unfortunately, I do not have a Cameron's glass, so I'm going to be using my Samuel Adams glass. Yes, I am. So let's crack this bad boy open and see what we think. Oh yeah, some smokage there. Smokage still coming. Oh, it's nice and light, cold and yellow, just like it says. Hell to the yeah. So perfectly clear, you can see right through it, nice carbonation as you can see on the glass. You get nice finger and a bit of head, tiny white bubbles. And there's what the head looks like from the top of the glass. So let's give it a whirl. Oh yeah, right off the nose you're picking up citrus characteristics. Grapefruit, lime, or lemon I should say, not lime, lemon. slight bit of like a herbal grassy kind of character there but mainly citrus white grapefruit I'm gonna say lemon maybe some um, like orange zest so sweet caramel toffee right there nice sweet malt characteristics coming through on the nose so, let's dive into her and give her a go. Mm. A very um, a light mouthfeel, medium carbonation. Um, take a swig of it in front of your tongue. It's kind of a nice um, malt as it trickles back across your tongue. On the top of your tongue, you kind of get the grapefruit citrus kind of hints, but on the sides of your tongue, it's kind of like a metallic. As it hits the back of your throat, it dries up fairly nicely, and you're ready for another swig. All in all, it's a fairly, a fairly quaffable beer. There's a car inside the cab. So yeah, it's uh, quite uh, interesting. It's unique. It's 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 a good pale ale. Not the best pale ale I've had, but not bad. I would drink it again. I would buy it again. Heck, I would even share it. So. I told you what the beer looked like. I told you what the beer smelled like. I told you what the beer tasted like. 
if you guys can find it, I think it's in the LCBO right now. I picked it up like uh, maybe last week or two weeks ago. Um, California Sunshine APA, a very quenching beer, you know, sessionable beer. You can sit on the lawnmower and drink it all day if you're into that kind of thing. Um, It's probably going to have your basic uh, Californian hops, you know, Cascade, Centennial, Chinook. Um, malt profile, you got some Turo in there, and maybe a slight bit of Munich or Caramel malt to give it that kind of sweetness that you're picking up. The malt and hops balance out fairly nicely. It's a fairly dry beer. Um, so it's, it's thirst quenched in. And yeah, so there you have it. I'll be back, I'll be back, I'll be back, I'll be back with another review in a bit. So, uh, cheers. Good job, Camerons. <sighs> Please rate, comment, subscribe. Leave any suggestions or ideas in the comments box. And I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you all for watching, and until next time, I'll be back.